of Ask Internets. It's Cat Mint Beard. We're back with more of the Outer Weirds. And as you can see from Parvati's Change of Clothes, I went and I am um, actually at the Groundbreaker, which I need to be to talk to Lilia. I went ahead and tinkered up people's weapons, armor. As you can see, I made some changes to who's wearing what. And yeah, we're, we're basically in our end game or nigh end game configuration. Like at this point, I don't expect us to find any better weapons and armor. I'm actually at max level because DL the DLC extended the cap to 33. Uh, the next DLC, whenever that's out, uh, keep in mind I'm recording this like a couple days before Halloween. I'm not sure exactly when the next DLC for the Outer Worlds is going to be out. But, um, I do plan to ex cover it and do a let's play of that as well. Oh, and I also, yeah, I showed where I picked up the spacer gear. We already covered that. Okay, so we're going to go talk to Ilya. I might find, like, a, a mod or something here or there that I want, but that's going to be about it. I got them in their iconoclast gear, which is actually the best armor. That's not what I'm wearing. I think the necks, the neck frills are just hilarious. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Star Trek, the like the TOS movies a little bit. How they had like the coffee filter necks, kind of. Finally, a base of our own. Mm -hmm. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. The base had scientists in suspension tanks. Some might still be alive. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? Udl buzzed, but I convinced him to back off. <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Mm -hmm. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. Oh, do tell. You might have figured that out already. Yeah, actually. Man. Man, my perception's not high enough. That sucks. Nothing matters. I'm listening. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled What's that? into something big, something none of us were meant to know. You had my interest, now you have my attention. Glad to know it, Captain. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. I mean, they're tr I, I know why, but... Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? I mean, I can do that. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084. And who knows what else? We have to put a stop to it. <laughs> Aliens? Aliens. Really? I'm just gonna say nothing. Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. <laughs> I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Well, at least she doesn't expect us to believe it. <laughs> this doesn't feel at all right, Captain. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? I mean, a few. If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. I mean, so when you say aliens, what are we talking about here? 
conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is hmm. an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those monsters on Monarch. Mm -hmm. I joined Sublight so I could do crimes. <laughs> no kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. Mm, how do you know I'm not an alien? Uh... Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Hmm. Only your cells would know. Interesting. <laughs> well, that's comforting. Probably nothing to worry about, as long as you don't start growing tentacles or slowing down time. Uh, well... I don't know what to make of this. If you don't believe me, go pay a visit to the Puppet Master who's working against her own kind. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked mm. psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Uh, why she need, uh, why she need to die? She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Hmm. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. <laughs> her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. Yep, she was trying to combine them with raptodons. Your concern for the fate of our species is admirable. You've got me all wrong. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. Hmm. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. Hmm. I mean, labs I passed you didn't seem that evil. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. Hmm. Alright, sounds messy, but I'll take the job. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. Mm -hmm. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Alright. So that's why I was like, we're going to have more biz in biz antium. Alright, so let's go get this um, I think I've figured out what you need. assassination personal quest. All the parts got to work together or we'll shake ourselves to pieces. And uh, some modeling. We need each other to work right. You need a team, and I need someone who'll be truthful with me, even when it hurts. Guys, can you stop talking on the elevator? Need is people staying the hell out of my business. If that were true, you wouldn't be here. She got you. Funny, you drop a wrench on your head or something. All right. Uh, why am I walking? Dee, 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 dee. Oh, here it is. Ike's Armory. That's why you buy the sp where you get the spacer's outfit. So, yep, an assassination, some modeling, and a personal quest. That's what we're off to do. Future me, if you happen to remember that LO and uh, progressing the plot, that might make a great title. Byzantium. 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 All right, let's go to Byzantium. Where 
are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Yes, lots of biz in Byzantium. Okay, taking Ellie because it's her personal quest, taking Parvati because I freaking want to, and that's what we're doing. When you play through, you can take whoever you want. All right. I can't quite fast travel there, but I can a little bit. I get closer. All right. Put the gun away. I don't want you. Not like it matters. Actually, out of curiosity, speed grip, whisper quiet, muzzler, improved silver tongue. I don't really. I don't care that much. Let's see, cause let's see, mine's already modded out. And I'm pretty sure Silver Tongue and things like that, if they're on your companion, they don't matter because your companions don't make skill checks. I love the <clears throat> okay, uh, let's get dressed first. Boop. Boop. Like a star, darling. Square your shoulders. Hand on your hip. Eyebrow cocked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes. Perfect. My heart is all a flutter. Yes, that's it. I have it. I know exactly what we're doing. Brace yourself, my dear. We're going to call this style Barbarian Chic. Hmm. The saucy confidence of a spacer. The raw contempt of an iconoclast. The brutish musk of a morale. <laughs> and the pièce de résistance. Monster leather. One part Manticleen chitin, three parts high from a Raptodon's flank, and let's say, oh, eight strips of primal leather. No, make that ten. All right. My dear, I have the highest confidence in you. So actually, I lied. We're going to um go do something else super fast. So, I'll see you... Well, actually, I mean, this game doesn't really screw around. It doesn't waste your time, so I don't really need to do a cut. I can fast travel to the ship. I can fast travel to where I need to go. I can almost fast travel to who I'm going to talk to to get all this in one shot. And guess who it is? Our old friend, Sebastian. So, we can actually find out how his, uh, his date went. I think you should be able to buy all this from him. Maybe not the primal leather. But uh, maybe, the, hopefully, the primal leather. There's no primals on Monarch, so I don't know how he would get it, but whatever. The thing I looked at said he has it, so we'll find out if that's true or not. If not, it's. Uh, we're going to either go back to Edge, Edgewater or we can go to uh, Scylla. How Primal's got on Scylla, I will never know. Alright, pardon me. Let's see. Where was Sebastian anyway? I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other colonies. Uh -huh. I remember he was standing on like a corner. Ellie? Looking like a prostitute. There he is. My second least favorite set of four words. Here we go. Okay. You gotta stop treating me with kid gloves. I'm oh. gonna fall to pieces if you look at me sideways, and I'm not going away. It's fine if you don't like me, but we gotta find a way to work together. For the crew. Never heard you sound this forceful. It's kind of refreshing. That's interesting. Alright. 
You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. I am. Let's see. Raptodon meat, Manta Queen Chitin. I just need one. Raptodon hide. Oh man. He doesn't have the primal leather, but I mean that does save me some time. Balls. Okay, well this still won't take long. For simplicity's sake, I'm thinking Scylla is probably going to be the easiest way to go. Destination reached. Scylla. Mm hmm. Then we just gotta go shoot some space gorillas. Skin them. It rubs the lotion on the skin. No. I don't even know. If, you know, have I seen that? Okay, this is gonna sound weird. I don't remember if I've seen Silence of the Lambs or not. Like, I know all the various references, like Hello Clarice and whatnot. But I just don't remember off the top of my head, like, if I've seen it or not. And kind of, like, might be mixing it up with Red Dragon or whatever it was, the sequel. Because I remember Hannibal, like, feeding Ray Liotta part of his own brain, which, you know, freaked me out for, like, a very long time. Sure did. You know. Boom! Sneak attack. No hard feelings, okay? My kind of Hadn't done that in a little while. Not bad, huh? Not at all. I'm sure I've mentioned a half dozen times that brains freak me out ever since I was a kid. Wow, that one actually exploded. They won't try that again. It's two primal leather. Primal brain, lovely. Just when I was talking about how it freaks me out, and it's like a weird phobia that I have. I don't know how it, I, I acquired said phobia, or like, if that's even the right word. What's the word for f being intensely disturbed by something? Is that, would you call it a phobia? Maybe. Alright. Well, it'll the game will tell me when I have enough. So let's just run around. Listen for their characteristic grunting. Oh, hey. Take your best shot, asshole. Well, actually, I can explain what it is that freaks me out about it. Since we're, you know, I've broached the subject. So what freaks me out about it is probably, like, you know, when growing up in, like, the, the 80s and 90s, it was kind of a ubiquitous kind of thing, like, you know, some, like having, like, a brain in a jar is, like, a very sci-fi trope at the time. But I never really gave it much thought until I watched this uh, Steve Martin movie 
called the man with two brains. And it's not what it sounds like. He himself does not actually literally have two brains. He, like, knows a mad scientist or something. And falls in love with one of the brains that he's stolen because he's a mad scientist. Guys, come on. There's got to be more. And, um, so he falls in love with it, carts it around. Various bad things happen, like a woman gets a jealous and tries to, like, kill it by cooking it in an oven. And Colonel Butterscotch, that's new. And basically it just it just kind of made me realize like, you know, this is not just like a stupid silly kind of thing. It's like I imagined because I can, you know, do that kind of thing. I could put my imagine what it's like to be in someone else's situation. And just kind of imagine just like, you know, it's like the ultimate the ultimate in like helplessness. Right? Absolutely no agency. No no awareness. And just, yeah. So, you know, as, as un, unrealistic as it might be for something like that to happen, I guess that's just my personal worst fear. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Is that that would happen to me. I mean, the technology doesn't exist, but, you know, watch stuff like Robocop and... That's a thing, too. And, yeah. And also, Robo Brains and Fallout. That's that's actually kind of worse. It's like, you. not only does that happen to you, but then you get your, your individuality removed somehow, and you get turned into a robot. Also... You know, see also the Cybermen from Doctor Who. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you get turned into an organic computer, if you still have any kind of like... I don't know, but that's 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 not much better because it's like your your individuality is destroyed too. What can I do for you, darling? There you go. I've been thinking of a name for this new outfit, Chimera, mm -hmm. crafted from the hides of three species of monster. Yep. While you were gone, I put in an order for one of my bespoke lapels, mm. solid gold, diamond encrusted. If it doesn't have Gross. one of my lapels, it's not a Jolicar original. Those slackwits at HPS are holding my parcel mm. while they wait for a signature. Bureaucracy is so utterly insufferable. Be a dear and retrieve it for me. Sure thing. Wonderful. I'm giving you authorization to retrieve this parcel on my behalf. You truly are my savior, darling. I'm on it. All right, so let's go get the thing, and then we can wrap this up. So, yep, now you learned a little something about your dear old friend, Captain Mintbeard. Let's see, do you have any good mods? No, no. It's not the best choice. Spacer's choice is not the best choice. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Ah, uh, you don't sound like you're supposed oh, to be here. Um, what are you doing here? 
What are you doing here? Nothing. Nothing. Why? Uh, does it... does it look like I'm up to something? Laws, I knew it! Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? Yeah, you're in big trouble now. Tell me what you did. <laughs> I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so mm -hmm. what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. All right. They escaped, and before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Oh, fun. I could look for them. Really? In that case, take this collection crate. Oh, Six God, why am I volunteering there, for this? Worry, you can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes, mm -hmm. an agreeable yet reserved demeanor, and a fondness for hiding. Also, they're white rather than green. Please, do mm. take care. And do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well, I still want their bodies. For science, of course. Uh, why are there exterminators down there? Actually, I'm wondering why you're attached to them. Therefore, my, um, research. Research. Out with it already. Oh, very well. It's true. I do run studies on them at the lab. But I also have a special connection with them. See, I'm an enormous fan of all my colonists. Hmm. The early seasons, before the plot lines got tacky. You must have seen the classic episodes. Just tell me. Well, I name all my sprats after my favorite characters. That way, their stories can live on in rodent form. If there are even so rodents. See, it's imperative that I get them all back. So what were their names? Not just names. They all have backstories, too. Oh. There's Lord Reginald Kim III, Lady Philippa Farnsworth, <clears throat> Fonda Von Vermington, Haroon Greenlee, Iskander Emmanuel Sanchez, and Evelyn Ensley Okoye. Oh, wow. I can't ah, believe I'm asking this. He's the chief executive of Farnsworth Incorporated and a fearless captain of industry. He's a mercurial shareholder. They are in a rather tumultuous marriage contract. I wonder if he's in a relation to Hubert Farnsworth. From uh, Futuraba. She's an ambitious shareholder in Farnsworth Incorporated who wants more than stock. Or does she? It's difficult to tell what exactly she's after, but she is trying to seduce both Lord Reginald and Lady Philippa. Oh my. So is everyone. Haroon is a mysterious young man with amnesia. His backstory is still a work in progress. Mm. Iskander is Lady Philippa's trusty assistant. He's trying to seduce Vonda. Tell me about this last person. She's a member of Farnsworth Incorporated's regulatory board. A wise woman with a sharp tongue and a heart of gold. Uh, Alright, who am I kidding? I don't need to hear about this. Something else? Um, you seem surprised I'd help you. I still am. After all, I'm a person of very little influence and only middling prospects. No one does favors for free. But I must say, I'm far too distressed to think critically about your suspiciously kind offer. All right. Good luck. So this has been the Outer Worlds. I'm Captain Minfeard. I appreciate each and every one of you who watches. So stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask. Thanks so much, and peace out.